In the Twin Cities metro area, there are far too many folks who are experiencing homelessness. People sleeping in cars, riding the bus or the train all night, couch hopping from one friend's couch to another, or as we've seen up close and personal over the last couple of years, sleeping in tents, even in the dead of winter in Minnesota. Meanwhile, throughout the state, we know there are more than 550,000 Minnesotans living in a household that are paying more than half of their income every month for their housing. At Beacon, we are a collaborative of more than 100 congregations, plus countless others who don't belong to a congregation, united in the vision that all people have a home. We see a world where cars, buses, and trains are just transportation. Couches are just a place to watch a movie, and tents exist only for when you want to get away from it all and go make yourself some s'mores. At base, we are building a movement that stands up as one and says to our elected officials, it is inexcusable that there are Minnesotans who do not have home. How do we do that? Well, we really do it in three different ways. First, we create homes. Currently, we have 18 affordable apartment buildings across the Twin Cities, and five more are in development, including one right here. This will be Vista 44 in Hopkins, family supportive housing. Second, we have our Families Moving Forward program, emergency shelter for families who are experiencing homelessness. And finally, we are working to change the policies and systems that allow homelessness to occur in the first place. The main way we're doing that is through our legislation, Bring It Home Minnesota. Now, during this quick video today, you will meet a few different folks. You will meet Danae, who is uh, receiving supportive services at one of our youth buildings. You will meet Keith, Keith and Lisa and their children who went through our Families Moving Forward program when they were unable to find an apartment that they could afford. And you will meet our Director of Public Policy, Ben Helvick Anderson, who will talk a little bit more about Bring It Home Minnesota. I have so many different dreams that I can imagine myself in. I just wanna change people's lives. I wanna do something that makes me happy. I bounced around foster home to foster home until I was about 12, and then I was adopted in the state of Minnesota. I moved to Florida. The family who adopted me, they never had kids. So when I was 13, they're just like, hey, you're going back to Minnesota, we can't do this. If 66 West wasn't here, if I had never got approved or if it never was even a thing, I, I couldn't even tell you. Because that was the last hope. I would have been outside, literally outside all the time. Having your first home um, is really a big thing when you're especially 18 or 19 years old or never even had those things when you were, you know, a child. This is where it'll start. This is where the rest of my life starts. That's why I'm just like blessed. You know, I couldn't ask for anything more. We're a pretty silly and pretty active family. We have three small children, ages seven, eight, and 10. We like to go on nature walks. Uh, our kids are very outdoorsy, so they enjoy all things nature. After losing my job of 18 years, it was, it was a pretty tough pill to swallow. Being homeless is probably the ultimate worst feeling I've ever had in my life. I've never been scared. I've never been so frightened in all of my life. Families Moving Forward got us into Carver Crossing Apartments. And we've been in Carver Crossing Apartments for a year. It, it saved our relationship. It saved our children's lives with us. And uh, ultimately, it, it rescued a family off of the street that was in need. As we move towards our vision that all people have a home, we know that this work will have a greater impact on people of color because people of color are disproportionately impacted by housing instability and homelessness. In order to create a Minnesota that works for all of us, especially those who have been historically locked out, we need home as a foundation. Imagine a state where all low-income renters could afford their home. This is the vision of Beacon 
and the goal of the Bring It Home Minnesota campaign. Beacon creates homes, shelters families, and advocates for the vision that all people have a home. We are leading the Bring It Home Minnesota campaign, a campaign for a Minnesota rent subsidy program. Minnesota is in a dire housing crisis, even before the pandemic. That's the bad news. The good news is this is a crisis we can solve. We can fix this crisis with rent subsidies. Rent subsidies allow a qualifying family to only pay 30% of their income toward rent, bridging the difference between a reasonable rent and what the family can afford. The Bring It Home Minnesota campaign is advocating for a Minnesota rent subsidy program to cover all low-income Minnesotans. So if this is a good solution, why aren't we doing it? Well, many of us think we are through the Federal Housing Choice Voucher Program, also known as Section 8. But only one in four families who qualify receive it. One in four that means 75% of the people in Minnesota who qualify don't get them. While Washington dithers, Minnesota families suffer. And yet only half a percent of the Minnesota state budget goes towards housing. We could create housing stability for all low-income Minnesotans with only 3%. It is time for Minnesota to step up and lead and make sure that all of our neighbors can afford their home. We can do that through rent subsidies. In order to fund the work at Beacon, we are currently in the middle of a three-year comprehensive fundraising campaign. During this campaign, we are working to raise $3.9 million per year. This amount will allow us to double the rate at which we create homes, as well as fund passage of Bring It Home Minnesota at the state legislature. If you would like to get involved, please reach out to us and we will be in touch.